Hey guys, today I'm going to be walking through some of the airsoft accessories I've collected over the years. Starting with BBs, I've got a case of 10,000.2s that I've run through quite a few of. I've got a bottle of 0.25 gram BBs as well as a couple smaller bottles of 0.12s that I don't use that often except in some of my pistols. Moving on to extra magazines, I have one extra mag for my UHC 1911 pistol, uh, two in total, same with the Walther P99, I've got one extra. For shotguns, I have a 200 round high cap as well as two 20 round mid caps. For my shotgun that takes shells, there's four shells as well as a little holder that goes over the gun. And here I have four magazines for the UTG Master Sniper. Moving on to attachments and optics, I have uh, RIS covers for my M14 Spring Airsoft Rifle. I have three red dot scopes, all of which need new batteries, um, I'll have to work on replacing those. I also have a 4x32 rifle scope made by UTG. Moving on to some of the other attachments, um, well there's speed loaders which have multitudes of others, I just have two shown here. There's a bipod, there's two flashlights, one that's just white light, another that's blue. There's also a laser attachment. And last but not least is the silencer for my Walther P99 spring pistol. It doesn't do much except decrease the range, it silences a little bit, but other than that, it's just for aesthetics. You might be wondering what the thing up at the top here is, and it's a gorilla pod. It's basically a tripod with bendable legs. And I use this to mount my camera onto my airsoft guns, which I can show you a little demonstration here. So this is what the M14 will look like when I mount the camera on it using the gorilla pod. The legs just wrap around the gun. And it makes for some good first person shooting footage. It looks pretty cool. Um, and I can show you that angle here. So here's kind of what it looks like. Uh, you get to see down the barrel, um, and also when you're playing a game, you can see the BBs headed towards their targets if you have it angled right. The one thing is that most of the time the camera will pick up a lot of noise from the gun, whether it's a spring rifle or an AEG, the camera will pick up a lot of that. You might not be able to hear outside audio so much. Another thing that you might have seen on the M14 is another attachment I've made on my own. It's a butt pad slash cheek crest. Um, it has some pockets in it so you can put like BBs or on the other side there's a big enough pocket that you can put a speed loader in and it's also got a zipper. I made this from old cargo shorts that were too small for me so just something I made on my own. Also the RIS rails I showed you earlier this is what they would look like on the M14 and they slide on and off pretty easily and you can bolt them into place there's a little spot for that here. One last thing I have to show is the carrying case. I can hold almost everything I need when I'm going between places with um, all my attachments, clips, and things of that nature. This is a Pelican case and I got it for my dad's work. I actually didn't have to go buy it. Uh, he works in electronics and this was something that used to house some pieces of equipment but they didn't need it anymore so I got it for free. Um, I'm sure you could look up uh, other types of cases that would hold your guns and ammo and there's probably a lot of pistol cases out there but um, I'm not sure if you'll find ones quite like this. On a typical game day this is what the case will look like when I'm ready to head out uh, depending on what types of guns I'm thinking of using. Uh, the grill pod there, I've got all my pistol clips as well as the bipod in here and some of the .2 gram BBs. Usually we have pistol battles and we just use the crappier ones for that. Uh, two pistols, my better ones underneath which I'll have different sorts of flashlights uh, for night games as well as the laser light and the high cap mag for the shotgun. In here I have the shells for the other type of shotgun and underneath that there's the speed loaders as well as the case of .20 gram BBs. Over on the right I'll have the four sniper rifle magazines as well as the two mid cap shotgun magazines. And that's about all I usually need, um, if not more, than what I'll actually be using on a typical game day. Or if I'm just going up to the woods to shoot around with some friends. I think that's just about going to do it for this video. Um, I think that's all the accessories I feel that were worthy of note. And if you guys have any comments or questions, just send me a message or just comment below. In addition to this video, I'm going to have a video for all of my guns as well as all of my gear. So uh, be looking forward to those, and I'll see you in the next video.